Today we're going to clean the upper spray arm of a Maytag Jet Clean Dishwasher EQ Plus. The reason why we're doing this is because our dishes have not been very clean when they go through the cycle. To clean the upper spray arm, you've got to first of all remove the lower tray. You just pull that out. Then you need to remove the upper tray. And you've got to remove these clips, and you can see it's got an arrow pointing that way. So to remove this upper tray, you've got to remove these clips. You just pull it and pull that, take that off, and then pull this out so you have those two pieces. And then you've got to do the same thing to the other side. You're going to push it. There's one, one piece, and then there's that second piece. And then you can go ahead and slide out the upper tray. Now the next thing we've got to do is we've got to unscrew the sprayer arm. And you can see... Up here, right up in through here, we're just going to twist this off in a clockwise motion. We just unscrew that, and now we have the sprayer arm off. And you can see all the all of these ports are plugged, or most of them. You can see the plastic, so you can see it's very dirty. You can see the detergent and how these ports are plugged uh, all the way around. You can see so water's unable to get out. Uh, you can see inside that this is uh, it's got a lot of detergent on it. And we're just going to clean this up. Again, more ports that are plugged. And so it's going to work much better once we get all of these ports cleaned out. Now to clean this, I would suggest putting down a, a cloth. And you can see uh, you'll probably want a small screwdriver, needle nose pliers. We've got this little pick that we can use. Uh, but you're going to want to just go ahead and clean out all the uh, debris. Um, you can see there's usually some plastic involved in it. This is really full of debris and you can use your pliers to pull it out. Now this, again, when these are blocked, it doesn't allow the water to get through and therefore it's not going to be able to be as efficient as it usually can be. So we'll just go ahead and clean out all these areas and you can see all the debris and gunk that's in here. You know, a little brush might also help wash it up really well. Uh, you can see these ports here are full of debris. Uh, you want to clean those out as well as you can. It's best to get a needle nose pliers and try to pull it out. Otherwise, it gets stuck in there. And it's good to do this periodically because you can see it's been a long time since we've done this. Um, this one over here is really bad. Again, we'll try and pull it out first. It as much as we can. You can see the plastic. We'll run this through the uh, faucet and put some pressure. We'll put run some water through here that will force these water through these jets or these ports. And we'll just go through and look and make sure they're all cleared out. Flat out. And I can see why our dishwasher has not been working very well. Get this cleaned out. We'll just go through one more time and look at each port. See if we get it cleaned out anymore. But once you get out as much as you can, you put this underneath your faucet right here and try to get out all the stuff that's in the uh, in the chamber. Now you can see all the debris that we were able to get out of that upper arm. And to do it completely, you do the upper and lower arm. So the last thing you want to do is just put it under a faucet, hold it there, get a little bit of pressure, and then you see if it's coming through all of the ports. That'll help. Uh, you can see we're getting a lot of water through. So it should work really well. We've rinsed it out. Um, now we'll just go ahead and reinstall everything. And, uh, and then we should be good to go. To install everything, you just reverse the process that we went through before. Uh, if you see any more debris, it looks like we've got some more. I uh, will just go through and clean that out a little bit more. Uh, we'll spray it one more time and then look for any more debris. Okay, so now we're going to reattach the upper arm. it to the right and you just go ahead and twist that on 
and there you have the upper arm on. Now to remove the lower arm, you're just going to twist this um, counterclockwise, and that will loosen it up. That's how you remove it. Go, and then you just go ahead and take this off. It'll be this whole piece. But uh, then you'll just go ahead and do the same thing that I did the upper arm. You'll clean the ports and uh, make sure you get all of the uh, ports clear and free of debris. To install this back on, you just place it on just and then go ahead and screw this cap back on. You get it all cleaned out. Make sure it's tight. And there you have it. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and put your top tray in. Uh, you're just going to insert these wheels in here on both sides. You go ahead and insert those wheels and slide it in. And once you get both sides in, uh, you'll then go ahead and put your clip in so that it doesn't slide out. Again, you're going to slide this in. Once you slide that in, you then go you go ahead and put your clip in just like that, and then go ahead and push it in, and that way the tray doesn't slide out. Now we'll just do the exact same thing to the other side. The clip in here. Uh, you're then going to slide this through, and it should click on. And that that way now it doesn't you can't the tray can't come off. I will then go ahead and insert the lower tray. And now we're good to go. Again, thanks for watching Big Al Repairs, and hopefully you subscribe.